What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can import and export videos from your iPhone with a simple thumb drive. Now this is going to be with a USB-C because my iPhone is a iPhone 15 and the 15s have USB-C. But I'm going to show you three different ways on how you can actually achieve this. The first way being the easiest, the second and the third uh, not so much easy but um, this video I'm just going to show you how to do this that way. If you are ever out on the go and you want to bring your files with you and you're in a spot like you're at the airport or you're somewhere where you can't access Wi-Fi but you have all your information on a thumb drive, then I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, and all you really need is a thumb drive. Now, if you have an iPhone 14 or below, uh, I do have another video where I made on that one. That's called an iExpand. That's also another way you can do it, and I'll drop a link down below for that one if you want to do this. So otherwise, we're going to get into this tutorial. So as you can see here, this is my iPhone 15. I'm using a program called Reflector, and it basically just allows me to mirror my phone to my PC. So very simple. This is a USB-C thumb drive with a USB plug-in. So it allows me to plug in into a USB-C drive or a USB thumb drive, I'm sorry, into a USB-C port and as well as got a USB that allows me to plug it also into a USB port. So what we're going to do is I actually exported some videos and some photos on this and we're going to put it on my phone. So simple, I'm going to show you the first way which is known as iCloud Drive which is actually the easiest way. So do is I'm going to take my thumb drive, plug it into my phone. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to navigate to files and then from here it's going to go in, we're going to go into browse and as you can see it says SanDisk right there. So I simply open on that. Now I have a bunch of photos here and the videos. Now say I wanted to take these photos and export them to iCloud Drive just so I can have them on iCloud Drive. Simply just tap on the right hand corner with the circle and the three little uh, circles. Tap on that. Hit select. Now as you can see on the very bottom you have more indicators. Again, same bottom right hand corner, three circles. Um, basically, it's the same thing as what's on the top. You have your trash can, which is obviously delete. Then you have in the center section, this is your files. This is where you're going to be moving them uh, according to where you want to put them on iCloud Drive, whether it's in a file or whether you just put them on iCloud Drive itself. Then the second to the left with the little square with the plus, that is basically a duplicate. So basically, if I tap on that, it makes duplicates of what I've already selected. And then on the far left is basically just sharing it. So this option allows you to either airdrop it directly to your Apple device, whether it's an iMac or whether it's an iPad or your MacBook. That allows you to do that. So what we're going to do is we'll tap on that really quick. You tap on that. As you can see, it allows you to copy, save images, print, add tags, or save the Dropbox. This is another portion of your phone that allows you to curtail where you want to send and save your files to. As you can see, uh, I do a lot of social media stuff sometimes, so I can save files and pictures, and I can actually automatically upload them to Instagram, TikTok, or if I want to save them on a Dropbox or Evernote, or send something in a Snapchat, or I can do one cloud or one drive, one note, or even a Facebook. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these, and we're going to actually move them into the middle file, which you're going to see here again. That is the one under the number nine item selected. I tap on that. As you can see, now I have options. I can either put it in a folder that I want, or I can just simply just hit copy. So we're just going to hit copy. And then you see a little circle. It's uploading. And then again, I go into browse, iCloud Drive, and we just simply just search for the pictures. Now there's uh, certain ways you can do this. Also, you can tap on the top and you can do list icons, date, kind, size. So if I'm going to do date and I do it by um, down from ascending to descending, it will show, as you can see, those pictures right there. So right after the PDF file, those same pictures are right there. Now say I want to delete these and I don't need them anymore. Again, you tap on the corner, hit select, and we're going to delete those folders, pictures. Hit there you go. Now, say I wanted to export again from my SanDisk a video file into one of my folders. Again, I simply just tap on SanDisk. I select the video that I want. And then again, the middle fold, the little folder icon in the middle. 
And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to swap this because I want to do descending down. We're going to tap on my ZBE 10 folder, tap on that, and then we're going to hit copy. And then as you can see, again, we exit out, go back into OneDrive, and then ZBE 10. And as you can see, it is all the way at the very bottom. And then that's pretty much it. That's how you would do any of your files and folders um, if you want to export those directly from your thumb drive into iCloud Drive. Fairly easy. You can even make your own folders if you want to and then offload your folders and pictures onto that. Now keep in mind, this does eat into your iCloud storage. So if you are paying for iCloud storage, keep that in mind. You don't want to be like throwing a lot of random videos and stuff in it that's just going to chew up space. But um, again, when you're doing this, it does eat up into your iCloud Drive. So say I want to delete it again. Now this way, there's two ways you can delete files and folders. You can simply just tap and hold on the image at the very bottom. You can hit delete, or you can tap on the little circle with the three little circles in it, and you can do it that way. Usually I find this tapping on the picture or the video, you feel like a little haptic touch. Then I just hit delete, and then that's it. And that's all there is to it. Now, say you want to do this with, like, say, Dropbox, OneNote, or Evernote. It's a little bit different than iCloud Drive because um, you have to do a little bit more in terms of how you access stuff. So, for instance, we're going to try Dropbox. So, with Dropbox, say I wanted to import something into my Dropbox, just into, say, my Sony FX30 folder here. So at the top, you'll see a little line with an arrow going up. You tap on that. Then you're going to tap where it says Upload Photos. You want to upload files. Tap on that. And again, it brings you back to basically files in a sense. We're going to hit tap on the sand disk. And then say I want to drop that same video into my FX30. Tap on that. And as you can see, it's going to ask me what folder I want. It already has the folder that I have selected. I hit upload and as you can see it's uploading the video and then once it's done I can simply just go back into the folder and I will show you so it's already done so hit close and again there is the folder right there it says Sony FX30 tap on that and as you can see the video is right there again this is a little bit different than using iCloud Drive it is a lot easier in a sense but they're all I basically have to go through iCloud or files in order to add stuff so if I want to delete it this one, you can't just simply just press on it and hold. You actually have to press on the check mark, tap on it, and then delete at the far left. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You just have to remember that every time you want to upload a file or folder or video into Dropbox, it's always going to be the little line with the arrow going through. That is your um, import. That is how you import uh, files and folders or videos to Dropbox through the thumb drive is that way. Now we're going to go into OneDrive. And again, same thing with here. Now here it's a little bit different because there's no icon that shows you where to upload files or to give you the option to upload. It's actually going to be the plus button. So you tap on the plus and then you're going to see upload. We're going to tap on upload. Browse. You don't want photos and videos because what that's going to do is this is going to simply just upload videos and photos that you already have on your phone. You're actually looking to upload videos and photos from your thumb drive. So we're going to tap on Browse. Again, brings you to the same spot with iFile with files and all of that. You simply just again, I'm going to tap on SanDisk and say I wanted to this time just upload one photo. Hit Select, preparing file uploading one and then that's it and when it's done it will let you know that's one more easy way of doing it it's pretty simple um, I find that it's much easier on the uh, OneDrive than it is on uh, Evernote or not Evernote but uh, on uh, Dropbox and then if I want to look for that uh, that file again simply tap on photos and then it should tell me my most recent upload as you can see right there upload it usually it'll be in gallery and then that's pretty much it otherwise I can go into files and I can scroll all the way down and again it's right here pretty simple otherwise that's how you would do it with OneDrive now with Evernote in OneNote it's the same as well so we're going to tap on Evernote 
and then here we're going to tap on new and then we're going to tap on attach and then again sand disk and then here it's already got it highlighted with the circles so we're going to do the one at the very bottom the 809 tap on that and then we're going to open and as you can see, it wants me to add a title and um, any type of information, and then it saves it to Evernote for me to view later on down the road. Otherwise, again, pretty simple. We're actually not going to be saving this folder, so um, this picture. So that's pretty much it. Otherwise, as you can see, I just have to save it just really quick. It'll just say untitled note, and then I can simply just delete that if I want to. Right where it says pin to home, all the way down there with duplicate note, save move note, move the trash, and that's it. Pretty simple, um, easy to use. So that is how you import um, files or photos or video from a thumb drive on your iPhone. Now again, if you're using iPhone 14, you'll be using something called the SanDisk iExpand, which I have a link down below for that video, as well as a link down to that if you want to take a look there. Otherwise, that is all that I got for today's tutorial. I want to thank everybody for watching, and again, I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Becca Peel, the Apple Guy. Enjoy your week.